This video is going to discuss the adding and subtracting of signed fractions. Now signed fractions are basically positive and negative fractions. So we're going to combine the rules that we know for integers with what we know with fractions. An example of this might look like negative 2 and 1 half plus 7 thirds. Now you can see in this case negative 2 and 1 half is a negative number, 7 thirds is a positive number, so we need to understand what do we do when we see negative signs. So let's take that example and, and see what we come up with. In this case we have a negative plus a positive, but I also have a mixed number, so let me get rid of that first. So 2 times 2 plus 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so this is going to be really negative 5 halves plus seven thirds. At this point I'm going to be looking for I have different signs. Different signs means difference or subtract. Even though this says addition, remember, I look at the signs of my numbers. So negative plus a positive is different signs. So I'm going to be subtracting these two numbers. Now it does help me to know which number is bigger here. Is 5 halves bigger or is 7 thirds bigger? And if I wasn't sure, I could always think, well, 3 goes into 7 two times with 1 third left over, so actually the 2 and 1 half is bigger. So what I'm going to do is set up 5 halves minus 7 thirds, different signs, difference. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and do my bow tie. 5 times 3 is 15, minus... 2 times 7 is 14, all over product of, the, of your denominators, 2 times 3 is 6. Now from here, 15 minus 14 is 1, over 6. And so I have a solution of 1, 6. I just need to know whether it's a positive or negative. And since I'm doing different signs, I look back to my original problem, and in this case I'm going to look at this is my original problem, and say, well, the larger number here was negative 5 halves, and that's negative. So that has a larger absolute value, which means my answer has to be a negative 1 sixth. Okay, let's look at another example. 2 thirds plus a negative 3 fourths. In this case, I see different signs, so I need to subtract. Which number is bigger, though, 3 fourths or 2 thirds? And in this case, it's 3 fourths. So I'm going to switch it around and say 3 fourths minus 2 thirds, finding the difference between the two numbers. I'll bow tie. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 times 2 is 8, all over the product of the denominators. 4 times 3 is 12. 9 minus 8 is 1, 12th. And in this case, my answer is going to be negative because my larger number in my original equation, or the larger absolute value, was negative. So my, again, my solution is negative one twelfth. All right, for our last example, we have negative four fifths minus one third. In this case, I have subtraction. So my first step needs to be change that subtraction to addition. It doesn't affect my first fraction, but my second fraction has to become its opposite. It's a positive one-third, so we're now going to have a negative one-third. From here, I see that I have same signs. Both are negative. So what I'm going to be doing from this step is doing same sign sum. Four-fifths plus one-third. And I'm going to bow tie since they don't have a common denominator. Four times three is twelve. 5 times 1 is 5, all over 5 times 3 is 15. 12 and 5 equals 17 over 15. So my solution is 17 fifteenths, but I need to determine is that positive or negative. Looking back at my original problem, I'm going to ignore the negative or the subtraction problem and look only at what I was doing with addition. So after I changed it, I have same sign sum with both of them being negative. So if you have 
negatives and you're adding more negatives to that, you're going to have a number that is still negative. So my answer must be a negative 17 fifteenths.